Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Skillset Go. In the previous video, we have seen what is qualifier annotation and how it can be used to fetch particular name with bean, particular bean with the name. So, for the demo purpose, we have created an interface and implemented two classes, petrol engine and diesel engine. And the spring can't get an engine object because it has two objects, so it don't know which object to get. So we can specify here, get the diesel engine object. And finally, here we are getting a car instance. So in this video, we will see what is the importance of add configuration annotation and add bin. So here, if you observe, we are getting a car instance. So every time we will get a same engine. So here we specified it as diesel engine. Here we will get every time a diesel engine car. We won't get a petrol engine car. So this is the disadvantage. So indirectly it is tightly coupled with the diesel engine. So the equal code for this is if you remove this one and make this as diesel engine and change the setter method. Now run this. See we got the same output. So the auto wide will fetch an object of diesel engine. So before we just had a qualifier and we had an engine defense. So it is same and it is tightly coupled to the diesel engine. So what we want is here we can specify I want a petrol engine car and I want a diesel engine car. So we need to create a petrol engine car and diesel engine car and keep in a container then we can fetch so for that we will have a configuration class let's create a configuration class let's name it as config and we will write all the beans here means we will create manually the car and we will mark them as beans so that we can fetch them easily with using the annotation auto while or get bin. So we need to mark this as configuration. So this will tell that this class has one or more bean class bean objects. So we need to create a petrol engine car and a diesel engine car. So just have a method public which returns a car. Get petrol engine car so this will return a car and we can create manually car new car and we can set a engine so we need to pass a petrol engine object here for set engine and finally we can return the car so but how we need to get the engine just pass an argument saying petrol engine and pass this as to this it's already passed and the spring will create so whatever the object returned by this method is kept in a spring container so we need to mark this as bin so that spring will create a car object whatever return from this method and keeps in a container so we have to name the bin so that we can get with that name so petrol engine car now the spring framework will create mark this car object as petrol engine car and we can happily get the petrol engine so let's try to get this car here so here we are calling generally car let's pass the bean name get bean bean name petrol engine car and we have to add cash to car and we no longer need this annotation or this auto wipe. 
we are not assigning this engine object here we are assigning in a configuration file we are directly creating a call assigning engine under tank and let's run this and see whether we we'll get errors or the output see as you observe we have got a petrol engine started let's say now we want a diesel engine car let's create a diesel engine car let's mark this being as diesel engine and here also diesel engine and let's create one more car with the diesel engine car one so now we need to get two outputs petrol engine and diesel engine car let's execute see we got petrol engine started diesel engine started so now we can get any car at runtime because we have created a method get petrol engine car internally the spring framework will execute this method and before executing it needs to pass these arguments so we don't need to mention the create these argument objects to the spring it automatically fetches it from the spring container so diesel engine and petrol engine marked as component so automatically those objects are created and kept in the container so whenever this method is called these objects are this engine diesel engine is fetched from the container and passed to this method and here also petrol engine is fetched from the container and passed to this method and it will create a car suppose if you remove the component here it can't create a diesel engine car let's run this we will get we might get an error see here diesel engine bean type diesel engine that could not be found because we are not told to spring to create an object so as soon as we mention it will create and here we can fetch it so this is how we will create a custom object a custom object i hope you like this video and understood the concept of configuration annotation and the concept of bean and how we can create a custom objects and keep in a spring container so that we can get them from anywhere in the project without calling these methods manually so if you want to create a car object we need to call explicitly get petrol engine car and we need to pass these argument but if you have the add bean and add configuration we can happily get them using an annotation auto wide or context object so please like share and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you for watching